here at the Athens Schoolhouse, uh, and it is Athens in Kentucky, A-T-H-E-N-S, not like Athens, Greece, but it's Athens here. So we're at the Athens Schoolhouse. Uh, school was in use probably from the early 1900s. It's been an antique mall for the last, what, 15 years or so, at least? Oh, at least. At least, yeah. Beautiful old, uh, old school on the inside. Just a uh, school system didn't want to pay for the... <laughs> upgrade on it uh, but anyway we come here every year in the fall they have their christmas show uh, and that's what we're here for today to see what they have here we get those little vintage pixie elves uh, yeah, we get one one a year every year just one little family that's had a a booth here for years we always talk to them but there's some other neat things there too that we'll look at a lot of furniture lots of furniture lots of old books lots of dolls records, uh, records uh, furniture quilts you name it it's, a, it's like a huge antique uh, show here so anyway we'll uh, go inside and it's two dollars to get in each just so you know so if you decide to come here it's a bring, hot date. it is a hot date for us absolutely every year this is our date so we'll see you inside all right so here we are we're in the uh, old school house they have actually updated the flooring this year it looks like it was just the old school flooring that they had here uh, there's a Candy Lady from Berea, Kentucky here that has a special booth this year, so we'll check that out on the way out. Hocus Pocus. Yeah, Hocus Pocus, for those of you who are seeing the movie, that's what they did with her uh, family member's face when she left. <laughs> okay, so here we are the first booth, and you can already see they've got some shiny bright ornaments here. I don't know what's the price they have on that. Maybe it's be the old. I think that's the old tag. Old tag. It says it was four ninety nine. These may just be for display purposes. I can be a, a vintage ornaments, ten dollars per box. Alright. Those are some definitely some pretty good sized pine cones there. Wow. Yeah, Just for reference. I think it goes down way past my wrist. Pretty cool. What you got there? Earrings. Just handmade earrings. So, pretty cool stuff here. Pretty. This is what I looked like when I was seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Old school lunch trays. <laughs> so that's what we love about coming to these shops like this antique places love the old hoosier cabinet there don't think it's for sale is it actually they are going to sell this for 975 dollars it's really tall so it is a very tall one i like that pulls on it i don't think the pulls might be there right that's more shiny brights here i love these with the indents on them five dollars each and anybody who owns a 1948 Carlet one. What's that? I said, does Arthur need a Batman belt? Batman belt. We've got the kids' decorations on the wall there. So we're kind of disappointed because the place that we normally shop, the whole room is closed. It's a little blocked off this year, so we don't know if it's because of COVID. As you can see, we've got the masks this year and the... Uh, they're older. Yeah, that's an older couple. Maybe they just decided not to come this year. Uh, but we're disappointed because we always get our pixie elves and a lot of other vintage Christmas stuff from them. So maybe they're somewhere else in the building. Uh, they moved to? I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, so Mary Sue stopped and we were wondering about that old couple that had the booth. They weren't here. So what'd you find out? I found out that they went to market. So they'll be back here next month with new stuff. New stuff. Okay, so cool. So that, just another excuse for us to come back next month. Do you need another next? date? Another date. I'll <laughs> take it. All right. Uh, there's a basement area now, uh, and we're going to go down and check that out. So, flip uh, around here. Let's see. It won't flip. Here we go. Now we're flipped. Okay. So, go down to the basement. I think this was the gym at one time. So, uh, again, this is a really, really old school building. So, go down here and check this. Yep. Definitely was the old school building because it's on the basketball goal. So, uh, this is Kentucky. It's standard issue with all basketball gyms. <laughs> Weather vane. Look at this weather vane. Cool weather vane. Yeah. Kentucky Derby print. Of course, you have to have a Derby print here in Kentucky. There's a cute little 
Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. Some cookie jars. They took the gold. Yeah, took the gold down on this one. I guess people. This is one of my favorite things to see is that dog. Yeah, the old uh, RCA Vict. RCA Vicker dog they have here it's on display with all the old phonographs. Yeah, we always stop here every year. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. It's got the crank on it. And they crank this thing up here and it actually plays off the spool. Mm -hmm. okay, just got a series of things that are in three. The records on the wall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. <laughs> oh, look at these. <laughs> can hold your umbrella and <laughs> Pretty cool. Kentucky is Bybee pottery, so there's a display here of what they call Bybee pottery. It's really cool stuff. We've never really had a whole lot of it, but uh, it is popular here in Kentucky. I love how they decorated with the, uh, with the old bulbs. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. So I like that. You know, just run out of bulbs. Put a thirty dollar price tag on that. It's a three dollar vase with a bunch of burned out bulbs in it. So. I guess it's Santa Claus's brother there. I'm not sure. This is what my wife is excited about. What is this, Mary Tiger King chairs. The Tiger King chairs, yeah. Very cool. <laughs> Made out of Carol Baskin's husband. Hey, here's one of those fireplaces like your grandma had. <laughs> yeah, the uh, electric fireplace here. I love it. Pretty cool. My grandmother had one of these in her basement. She had a split level ranch back in the 70s and 80s. And uh, no fireplace, so she had one of those. And that's where we had all of our Christmas stuff next to this. Next to one of those, plug it in and it glows. So that's one of the fun things about coming to antique shops. You just find it's things that remind you of your kids or your childhood. Another Hocus Pocus space there. There's a bed member. That's pretty funny. We actually had an experience just now where I got caught with a video camera and the, <laughs> the gentleman was kind of eyeballing us. He came over, started talking to us and tried to sell us everything in his shop. So, yeah, so I like his shop. It was a cool story. It was a cool storage place or a cool uh, uh, shop. I like lots of uh, furniture. Yeah, a lot, lot of his furniture was really cool, but yeah, a lot of people just also don't like you having video cameras out. So especially when we're just talking and not buying. So we'll have to be kind of careful about that, but it was some cool stuff. Pretty mantle, look at this. Lots of glassware. Very cool stuff here. Everyone needs some. Yeah, that is pretty cool back there. We need that clock for a bubble up cola. It's awesome. And everyone needs a cat wearing tennis shoes. Said somewhere, somebody thought that these things were good ideas. <laughs> and some of the things here harken back to a bygone era that thankfully is bygone. Yeah, the Coca-Cola clock is pretty cool. We have one at home silver to that. That is pretty cool. Oh, the fish tails they could tell. Okay, so 
we were actually in there maybe an hour. Uh, it's kind of a bust this time, just because That's maybe okay. probably a third of the shops were not even open today for whatever reason. I don't know if it's COVID or what. We talked to some of them and said, well, they'll be here for the official Christmas show in November, uh, even though they advertise this one as being a Christmas show really wasn't so we didn't get anything other than some fudge <laughs> and you can't go wrong with fudge so uh we'll come back next month and uh, let you know how that one goes Bye. okay so we decided we weren't done junking for the day we wanted to go into a, a peddler's mall so here's the only one in lexington kentucky it's just on the a new circle road here it's an old furniture store uh peddler's mall antique and flea market so uh, we're gonna see what we can find in there but i'm gonna show you this real quick that we did find in the window here. I thought it was just really cool. I love window uh, displays also. So you've got the little guys here that are teeter tottering there for the holidays, for the Halloween. So anyway, uh, Mary Sue's already gone inside because she wouldn't wait for the video. So we'll take you inside, see what we find. Okay, so when you get into a peddler's mall, these are just laid out so crazy. One of the things you have to do if you're shopping with someone is figure out what your method's gonna be. Is it gonna be go around the outside and come back around? Or is it gonna be going up and down the aisles? Uh, we're up and down the aisles, folks, here. Uh, really not a right or wrong way to do it, but uh, I'm one of these OCD people that has to have an organized system of doing this. Mary Sue, on the other hand, is a wanderer who just <laughs> goes wherever the winds of, uh, of commerce take I'll her. I'll find so, my way out. Yeah, she'll, she leaves breadcrumbs. So anyway, we're just kind of cruising along and you know, there's all sorts of uh, junk at Peddler's Mall, which is what we love. Um, exercise doctor. equipment, sports memorabilia, uh, airbrushed clothing, uh, big su supply in this one of uh, Confederate and Trump and God bless America kind of stuff, which you know, whatever floats your boat on that. So anyway, we'll, uh, we'll show you anything interesting that we find. Yeah, again, we're... We're big into Christmas stuff here, so you see a lot of the modern stuff like this, which has its time in its place. There's nothing wrong with this stuff. It's just not our particular cup of tea. I mean, I love everything Christmas, so I really don't care what other people decorate with. It's just not what I particularly purchase. So we'll continue on and check it out. Oh, we have to show you this whiskey barrel furniture. I haven't seen this in a while. This is pretty cool, though. Some new stuff, though, because it's, it's a uh, it's like it's got the Knob Creek brand with it. So again, you just find anything here. Oh, but I see something else. Yes, Mary Sue has found something. This may come home with us. I don't know. <laughs> she will not let it come home with us. But anytime you get a chance to have a good Star Wars stand up, uh, you ought to get it. About things that remind us of our childhood. My grandmother had these Blue Boy, and I'm not sure what the girl's called, but uh, she had those in her basement for years. It always just reminds me of her. So just cool stuff here. Found something Mary Sue likes here. This is the Geode collection. <laughs> Anything to do with rocks. We used to go down to Green River Lake in Kentucky, and the coast is covered with little small geodes. You should take the kids down there when they were little, get them, and then bust them in half to see what they looked like on the inside. Good times. Let's go around this way. All right, go down this way and see what we're going to find here. Again, behind lock and key here, so. I like the little, uh, Ten soldiers here. The little light up ten soldiers are pretty cool. Fourteen seventy five each. So, look like they're fairly new, but still, I hadn't seen them before. It's pretty cool. I was like looking at old wrapping paper too. Now, this is not all that old, but I like the vintage stuff that you find. Uh, I like the older designs more than I like the newer designs. And of course, your whole uh, convenience store, your uh, your makeup and your how to keep your body clean here all sorts of stuff here you always find this stuff at peddler's malls i guess it falls off the truck somewhere and they get a good deal on it i don't know so we did find a few little christmas things here cute little things here but what do you like the little kermit here our little eight month old grandson loves uh kermit on the sing-alongs with seth rogan so always thanks to him think of him we have more uh kind of modern stuff here oh there we go $3.99. Three ninety nine for Darth Vader Christmas ornaments. Cannot go wrong with the Star Wars themed Christmas tree because nothing says Christmas like the dark side of the force. Okay, so I see these from a distance. Let's see what we have on the front side here. Oh, some very tall Santas. Oops, excuse me. Ran over my wife behind me here. More modern, but they're still pretty cool. Nothing wrong with Santas at all. 
actually we're looking for what's called Harold Gale sanders. And I'll show you one if we find one here in the mall. Uh, there are more of the older ones that were used at the stores for displays years ago. Again, yeah, nothing wrong with this shop at all. A lot of Christmassy things here. A little elf back here looking through everything. I'm gonna find an ugly Christmas sweater. Ugly Christmas sweater, that's true what we have here. Oh, it's just clothes, like right there. Uh-huh. Nothing too awful ugly or hideous just yet. That's for a kid. So, all right, we'll continue on. That's a good thought there. We need to start going ahead and thinking about that. We saw the Santa Claus figure earlier. That's pretty cool. But what really got us was the big giant chicken head, Clucky. So, uh, if anyone needs a big giant chicken head, come to the Pedro's Mall. Glad we came here because I've been looking for some pajamas for the coming year. They're a little small. Oh, too small for me. Too bad. It's pretty cool though. Look at the design on this. Look at the intricacy. I mean, Santa riding a unicorn. There's some scar pajama pants. Look. <laughs> How come you never see this stuff in the stores? You only see it at Peddler's Malls. It's like, like direct-to-video direct movies. You know, these are direct-to-Peddler's Mall creations. And there's some false advertising here for me. Nice. Oh, there we go. There's my shirt for the year. Little sparkly uh, churches up there. Groovy chairs right there. See the groovy chairs. Church is supposed to look like little putz houses. You gotta be careful when you buy things. I think they're old, but they're really not. Okay. They can see some house shoes that I need though. Oh yeah, definitely those house shoes. Ooh, let's see how much they are. Five dollars. Five dollars. Look at that Santa hanging. Oh yeah, the Santa hanging from the uh, from the balloon thing there. That's pretty cool. Things at the bottom of Saint Paul. Oh yeah, light up things. All sorts of good stuff. Not sure what's going on here, but this is like the fifth place. But I've seen these particular bras on sale. The oversized salmon color. Uh, you see a few other ones, but those, seriously, five places? Must have been a discount on those somewhere. And I'd like to know the backstory. If anyone knows the backstory on where all those bras came from, let me know. Cool, cool table to make some Mm-hmm. Very cool. Look at it on a porch. Oh, boy. Grandson Arthur is a huge fan of Moana. So we have a Maui doll there, modeled after the rock. <laughs> right here at the Peddler's Mall. I think I'm just gonna leave that without comment, other than uh, maybe a question who would wear that? Never mind, I think everyone just had. A mental image of that one friend who would wear that so i like the stove here the vandal and the fireplace the little electric stove tucked through there that's actually pretty cool it's tacky but it's cool okay this is all pretty cool stuff here i love the swing look at this that is pretty awesome the, the woodwork that went into that with a little matching and then taking an old uh, sewing machine base and put a top on it that's pretty cool very nice with the, oh, old the, old, the old jewelry Christmas tree. Yeah, that's pretty cool too. Get a close up there on some of the things that they used. That's pretty cool. So if you have old costume jewelry, there you go. There's an idea. Again, custom uh, shirts that you can have here that you don't find anywhere else. There we go. I think uh, speaks for a lot of us. Inspire my inner serial killer. Yeah. Good times. This says it's bubble lights here, but you see they just painted it full of the full plate lights. Maybe they're at the other end. They're not. Nothing in there, just lights. Ah, denied. Cabbage patch dolls. Cabbage patch dolls. The all the rage. There. I remember. Early 80s, my sister wanted one. Found uh, a lady who made the homemade ones. And it was like 25 bucks in 1983 or something like that, early 80s. 
and then Mary Sue's mom actually made a bunch of them also. So, they're still around. We've also been looking for some drugs while we're here, some ibuprofen. ibuprofen. And Mary Sue said, oh, I found the right bottle. I found the right color. And we picked it up. And that's not exactly what we were looking for. But if you need uh, about 5,000 capsules of stool softener, here's a great deal on it. It's a dollar bottle. Yeah. Again, anything in a peddler small is, is on, on the shelves here. I stopped in this booth because I saw these cute little signs here for, for Christmas stuff. And you know, we're using the old vintage lights there for the ornaments. But then I saw this, my, actually my wife spotted that. And I actually had that rocket chair when I was a kid. We still have it, we refinished it for my daughter when she was born, going on 30 years ago, but it's still kind of cool. And that's actually got a pretty decent price, only $15. So I don't need another one, but uh, it's a pretty cool memory. All right, so here we have, we did find a whole section of ugly Christmas sweaters. Uh, this is probably our favorite owl I won for Christmas this year. Uh, oh dear, and there's one that looks like you're wearing an elf outfit. Uh, this is a lot of potential here of being pretty ugly. That's a jacket. Uh, of course, you can't go wrong with a little pug dog like that. Uh, here's the full-size jammies that go all the way down. So, uh, if you're looking for uh, ugly Christmas sweaters, uh, we're at the end of October. It's not a bad time to start looking. They're out. All right, so we just finished up the Peddler's Mall. Uh, not a great trip. Uh, didn't find anything vintage Christmas that we were looking for, but we did find a couple little things. Uh, we found for our grandson uh, this little plate, Charlie Brown and Snoopy. Uh, and what we like about these is the, the it's not a sticker on top of the plate because those things peel off a lot of times, especially in the dishwasher. This is like molded into the plastic itself. So we like that. Uh, got a couple of these Lisa Frank coloring books. Uh, we actually were texted back and forth with our nieces who were uh, of the generation when this was first came out. They really liked those things, so now they have kids. So um, a couple of our uh, great nieces may be getting some Lisa Frank for Christmas. Shh, don't tell them. And then finally, this is for the nerd in me. I, I needed some uh, bulbs, light bulbs, and these are the LEDs and uh, you know, the 65 watt, which goes good in our, our house for what we need. Um, I think we paid, what, five bucks for these here? Something like that. Five ninety nine, And at Walmart or other places, you're probably going to pay 20, 25 bucks or more for that. So, uh, and they're brand new. So, anyway, that's uh, how we did at the Peddler's Mall. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to do anything else today or not. We've got to go see our grandbaby, uh, watch him tonight. We get to babysit. So, that's going to be a good night. So, we may just get something to eat and head on up there and play with the baby. We may stop somewhere else on the way. If you see more video, we stop somewhere else. Otherwise, we'll catch you next time. Thanks.